count? Patrick Starnes believes that it does. And here's what he's had to say on the subject over the years. So what do you think is the foundation, most critical foundational issue that Oregonians are facing today? Well, it's campaign finance reform. Because if, if we don't fix that, like in order to have um, universal health care, we have to get big pharma and Providence Insurance, all these special interest groups that don't want um, health care, uh, universal health care in Oregon. We have to get them out. And that's my promise in the first 100 days. You know, and then the cell, this, all these, this, so the volunteering and working and contributing, and that goes with politics too. You can't just vote. Right. You have to vote with your dollars. You have to vote with your check, you know, checkbook. And, and, and if you don't, there's a vacuum. And guess who shows up? That's right. The corporations, the special interest PACs. And that's why we're trying to role model because we don't need to just have a different person in the governor's office. Right. We need a systemic change. And I think Democrats and Oregonians are ready for this systemic change because they just voted with almost 80% to get big money out of politics. So that's a great start. And we helped make that happen in 2018 by getting Governor Brown to make it a priority. And, to, and then in 2019, the session, I went and met with almost all 90 members and it was almost unanimous. Only five people voted to not refer that to the voter. Patrick Starnes is the one candidate working to eradicate corporate corruption from our elections. In fact, this is his number one priority. He feels so passionately about the need for campaign finance reform that he's dedicated his first 100 days to fixing the problem at the state level. This is just one of Patrick's many planned projects, and it's the one piece that it fixed could be the most effective change we've seen in Oregon in decades. Elect Patrick Starnes in November 22 as Oregon's next governor.